Halloween is just around the corner, so that means trick-or-treaters and of course, Halloween candy. So for this episode, I want to talk to you about palm oil. Why palm oil? Because it's prolific in Halloween candy, but it's also in so many of the products that we use in our daily lives. And today I'll tell you what you need to know about palm oil and how to make the best choices for conservation. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Shuttler, and my channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring you to care about the natural world. Palm oil, it's an ingredient found in pretty much everything. It's found in all sorts of foods, it's found in skincare products, body care products, makeup, so many different things. And for the longest time, I tried to avoid buying palm oil. Why? Because palm oil is really bad for wildlife. It's made in these huge plantations that are just monocultures of these palm oil trees. On my recent visit to Borneo in Malaysia, I got to see this firsthand for myself. So check out some of this footage. Is destroying the habitat of some of the most amazing, beautiful, charismatic, and endangered species on the planet. The one that comes to mind for most people is the orangutan. And these species, there's several species of orangutan, have become sort of a poster child for palm oil. I tried to stop using palm oil. I would check all my products to make sure that they didn't have palm oil in them. But I learned that this is actually not the best thing you can do for conservation. My mind was blown, I was shocked, I thought I was doing the right thing. But here's why you should actually be buying palm oil. So in an ideal world, if we boycott palm oil, we don't buy it anymore, people stop planting it, and then the forest gets preserved. But that's not what is going to happen. If we don't buy palm oil anymore, people still have to make money. They have to come up with money to feed their children, to support their families in Borneo. So if they don't have palm oil, they're gonna to turn to something else. And a lot of this land is already cleared, so they might turn to crops that can be even worse for the environment. So the palm oil is already there. And while it's bad for wildlife, there are things that farmers can do to make it more sustainable for wildlife and provide habitat for wildlife. So there is a council, it's called the Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil, and there are different standards that companies can adhere to. So rather than avoid palm oil completely, which could cause farmers to switch to another cash crop that could be even worse for the environment, what you should be doing is looking for palm oil that is certified as sustainable. So how do you do this? How do you know what to do? Like for me, these Reese's Pieces for our trick-or-treaters. And I chose Reese's because it's one of the companies that complies with the highest standards for um, certified palm oil. How do you look this up? Well, there's an app uh, that you can put on your phone. So here I got my phone with me. It's made by the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And here you can, you can see the app right here, palm oil. Just click on it and it has this cool product scanner. So all you have to do is type in whatever product you're searching for. So here I typed in Reese's, search, and then it gives me back these results. So as you can see, Reese's is all in green. So if your company is green, that's the best there is, and you're gonna wanna buy from that company. That's good to go. If it's yellow, they could be doing better, but they're not super bad. And if they're orange, they're still not the worst, but they could be doing better. Here's the kicker. If your company is not on this app, then that means that they use 
palm oil that means none, that meets none of the sustainable practices. So you want to avoid those companies completely. I was really surprised because I shop at Whole Foods a lot to find that their peanut butter that or their peanut butter spread that contains palm oil is not in this app. So that means that they do not have any of the sustainable practices and I actually no longer buy that. This app is also super cool because it contains a sample letter here that you can use. So you can send it to companies. So for example, I gave you 365, they're not adhering to the standards. So I could use this letter and write to them and even start a petition and say, look, we want you to use palm oil that is CSPO. When you are looking for Halloween candy, like Reese's, good job Reese's, you want to make sure that it's at very, very least in the app. Thank you so much for watching. Please spread this conservation tip by sharing it with a friend. And if you want to see more of my travels from Borneo, Malaysia, as well as get some more conservation tips, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Bye.